everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with uh, one of my co-hosts behind the Target dumpster, um, my, my girlfriend, yeah. Minho. Yeah, we upgraded from uh, Walmart to Target. We're in the, uh, we're living the high-class life now. Yeah, so whenever we find clothes back here, they have, like, knife holes through them, because the Target employees don't want to say have clothes, so... Yeah. It's sad, but... It's sad, but, you know, it's a bit windy in this... Shirt. <laughs> just blows right through you. <laughs> yeah. We gotta get one of those like old lady like cookie tins that have the sewing kits in it. I mean, pass oh, yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, maybe they'll throw out one of those someday. Yeah. <laughs> it's only a dream. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna upgrade to like the Gucci dumpster one day. Yeah. They'd probably do that for like good like big products like that. They probably like cut holes in it. And like sap through the shirts and shoes and shit before they throw it away. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past Man. them. It's a, I mean, it's a business idea. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past them. Yeah, because I think Michaels does that for their like um, for their craft stuff, like canvases. They just poke holes in it. That way, people can't dumpster dive, take them out, and use them. Damn. Yeah. I mean, you could still use it. It just has a big ass slash mark. <laughs> But uh, while we were in this garbage, um, we, we found our new book, which technically we didn't find because we read this before and the wheel told us to read it again. So we were, we were just obeying the almighty wheel. It yeah, is someone God. else threw out their copy of Cynthia X Reader and uh, we picked it up. Yeah, I don't know why they threw out this book. This is so good. It's Bill Clinton. He's risen up Cynthia. That's it. <laughs> I can That's, imagine that. It's a good visual image. Yeah. I, I feel like a lot of people would want to rinse up Cynthia from Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, I feel like a lot of people would want her to step on them, but, like, that's a, that's a different thing. We're, we just want to go on a date with her and maybe, like, hand in hand. That's probably that's it. Awesome. You want Cynthia to step on you. I didn't say that. I said a lot of people would like that. I did not group myself into that. Oh, okay. I'm not weird. I have standards for who would want to step on me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay. Anyway, uh, we're on chapter three, aka taking a break, which I think I you need know, to before take. Before that last statement, I was gonna say, "Hey, we don't judge. Maybe people like getting stepped on." Then you added that, and I, now I'm judging. So uh, good job, you did oh, this I, yourself. No, thank you. I can I can feel the judgment radiating. Like I can I can feel like the, the fucking stare coming from <laughs> from the other side of the monitor. I'm actually squinting at my monitor right now, just looking at you in disappointment. Isn't that just how you normally look? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm s <laughs> Anyway, I have a I have a, a cap if we can flip that. Yeah, flip it. Alright. I'll be that? um yeah, what is tails even? Uh the the tails is technically this lift appeal label, and then heads is like the the simply logo. I'll be simply. All right, let's see. Now, all natural. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> <win> first. <laughs> all right. I always win. All right, taking a break. Like I need to take a break off the internet. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, uh, do we still have it as Bill Clinton? Yeah, Bill Clinton, a classic Bill. <laughs> just classic. Like, just like the Bill of Rights. <laughs> yes. It's our next character name, we oh, decided. Absolutely. We gotta come up with other Bill names. <laughs> we- Bill Bo Baggins. What the fuck is Bill Bo Baggins? No. What? I'm asking you know, a genuine question. Have you ever question. watched, like, the, the Hobbit? No. Or any of the Lord of the Rings? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's alright. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people have watched it, so. Yeah, you think I have time to sit down for three hours and watch a movie? <laughs> True. It had been a few Instead days. Instead you watch One Piece. Hey, I, you know what? I'm gonna, yeah, you, you don't have three hours to watch a movie, but you're watching One Piece? Okay, okay, I buddy. I need a break. I need yeah, to you watch can continue. You, you can continue. Uh, you <laughs> continue reading. I'm done. Yeah, no, I will continue reading. It had been a few days since you're running with Cynthia. <laughs> While you were busy at work, Cynthia was still in, 
was still in the news, this time working on fighting off the increased threat of Team Galactic. Still, it was a very small chance Galactic would ever care about your research as to anyone else. Still, doesn't mean they there was a fuck. Doesn't mean there was there was a big fuck. <laughs> Still, you got this. Doesn't mean there was a bit of a threat. Regardless of that fact, <laughs> what, what were you saying? How much did you drink? None. <laughs> oh, this is your default? Yeah, this is default. This is sober, Phoenix. <laughs> Alright, stay sober, kids. <laughs> yeah. Regardless of that fact, you were still found in your lab deep in work. For today was a day when you conducted your first experiment. You began to use the formula created by Singamore to increase the product of cells in the Pokemon's DNA you extracted. You grab your phone and hit record. Experiment 33B is now in progress. The successful DNA extraction of the Houndor egg it will be now mix with Singapore's sperm labeled MGE will report after the experiment is complete. Current prediction, rapid cell expansion will grow in the immune system muscle mass, and improve possible heart and lung problems that could prevent the Pokemon from reaching its best form. You put the needle... Yeah, you, you put the needle containing MGE into the collection of cells you extracted. Once the transfer is complete, you slid the disc containing both MGE and the cells under a superheat lamp and position it just right to get the most heat radiation from it. You side and lean forward a bit to watch the reactions. The reaction would take time, yes, but it is time you had to spare. Or at least you did until the elevator to your left thing began. You sighed and pinched the bridge of your nose in frustration before slowly turning your head to see who decided to disturb your work. The door slid open and on the other side was Cynthia in Carolina. Oh, it's you two? You say that like it's a bad thing. A bit, yeah. What is it now? We're going to run into town real quick. Would you like to join us? And what, pray tell, would you would you be doing out there? Getting a few things and perhaps lunch? I already ate. <laughs> it's a fucking mooka. This is like texting someone that's like a dry texter. <laughs> that gives you like nothing to work off of. An orange and some water is not breakfast. Debatable at best, but now then, is there anything else I can do for you two? Would you please join us? We think- Carolina crumbles a bit. I think it would be best if you got a short hour or two break? As considerate as it is, I'm sorry, but I'm not- I do not have the time for that. I'm in the middle of the experiment. The superheating will take a lot longer than you think. And you know this how? The elevator opened at the exact moment you finished your question as Professor Singamore walked out. How, how the fuck you pronounce that? Augustine? Augustine? Augustine, what are you... Decided to see how my friend was doing. That and Cindy asked me to be here to make the progress of discovery all the easier. He smiled at you, but you were still taken a bit back. However, you shook your head and looked over at Cynthia and glared a bit. She looked back at you and had a bit of a smile on her face. You sighed and looked up a little reluctant before turning back to your colleagues. You opened your mouth to say something to them, but Carolina raised her hand. I will handle the overview of the experiment alongside my- along, wait, along with- Fuck, how do you pronounce Pokemon's name again? Empoleon! I'm so smart. <laughs> you flip-flop a lot recently. Is something alright with your head? Say that again and I'm gonna crack yours open! <laughs> she boxes. Is, us. is this how she sounds like? I don't know. It's, I mean, I don't know. I never watched the anime. I mean, video, the video games never had voice acting. <laughs> she sounds crazy. You wouldn't. Outside of the possible murder charges, and the primary reason you still get the funding and a 
and a profit for your research. Caroline is so grumbling at you, and so Cynthia walked up to you and grabbed your hand. A sudden sense of calmness filled your brain, and Cynthia looked at you in the eyes and smiled a bit before pulling you a little bit to get you out of the room. Come along, then. Cynthia smiled a bit, pulling you towards the elevator. Sigmore laughed a little before following you two and getting into the elevator himself. Once up, the three of you drove into town and began looking around. Jubilee City was pretty jam-packed altogether in the dense area. Still, it made a fine place to live from time to time. You guys find an, a nice cafe to sit down and order lunch from, as Cynthia was able to get a nice view on a... We got a nice view on a more casual outfit. You sat next to her while she looked over looked over a light blue top and smiled at you. Any input? Are you seriously asking me? Are you seriously asking the socially awkward, mentally drained, and narcissistic 35-year-old scientist we're a narcissist? <laughs> yeah, said Bill Clinton. Yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> yes, yes I am. You groaned a little before turning back and looked out the win looked out of the window of the shop. She walked up next to you and smiled a bit. Despite everything, you do have to admit it is nice being above ground for a change, seeing the light, the people we are trying to help. You are attempting to make their lives better. I am busy trying to unlock the secrets of the universe, of which you are preventing me from doing. I understand that your work is important. I can never deny that, but a break is always needed every once in a while, especially on days such as these, a beautiful sunny day. You rolled her eyes a bit and looked back at the window. You were a good distance from it, but you couldn't deny how bright it was outside. Was it beautiful? To you, no way in hell. To others, it made sense as to why it was so lovely outside. You just couldn't get into it. You always couldn't get into the fact that Singamore always flirting a bit with some random woman in the store. You groaned a little as Cynthia walked over to you and smiled a bit as she looked over at Singamore. You have to admit, at least he tries. He's been doing this since we were 20. I'm not surprised he still cannot land anything. What about you? Have you attempted anything? Attempted this? No. It would interfere with my lifestyle if... Maybe a change in lifestyle would help you. First thing it would help is those bags in your eyes. What if we just have sleep paralysis? <laughs> you don't gotta be mean about it. <laughs> Sleep's not easy, Cynthia. You looked at Cynthia inside a little before rubbing the back of your neck. You weren't going to deny it. Yeah, it would be nice. But you had bills to pay. You can't... Carolina was one of the few professors to offer overtime pay. Still, you rubbed your eyes a little before getting your glasses back onto your face and turning back to her. As nice as it would be, I do need to work, and with no work, that means money lost. I could help you. I have plenty of disposable income to help you if you need it, and- No! <laughs> Cynthia was taken aback. I mean, it's not necessary. I can manage just fine. He's a president, he'll be fine. Yeah, he just money laundered from another, <laughs> another country. <laughs> I <laughs> I understand. Cynthia began to eye down something else in the store, an excuse to really walk away and leave you to your thoughts. Before she got far enough away, he turned back to her and let out a little sound which was which she was able to hear. Barely. I I think the blue one looks nice. <laughs> Cynthia looked at you for a few seconds before she offered you a smile and nodded once. She then walked up a little bit and she, as you took a step back slightly. As you watched Cynthia walk, walk away, you felt a hand on your shoulder. You turned back and saw Singamore giving you a smile. What is it now? If you were looking for an, an opportune moment, that was it. For what? I'll let you know when you're older. I'm older than you by, like, three months. Singmore laughed a little as he walked away. You saw you followed him as some thoughts of what Cynthia said flooded in your brain.
We're just What are this guy's comments? This doesn't make any sense. Wait, what comments? Oh no, I thought it was all by the same person, never mind. Like oh. the first three comments. Oh gotcha. That's a white background. <laughs> well yeah, this um well you can comment on parts and whatnot. Oh okay. Yeah, so they just all collectively go down there. Dude, why is Bill Clinton such an asshole? Besides like the obvious stuff that we like know IRL, but like why is he such an asshole in this story? <laughs> It's, uh, they knew. They knew we'd use Bill Clinton. Yeah, they just knew. They're like, I, I sense that someone's gonna put Bill Clinton as the YN character, and I get to be prepared for that. And that's this. <laughs> Alright, the library. No, it's library. <laughs> the library, you know. What are, what are those berries, you know? And, uh... No, they use, like, no, they use like apricots, right? For pokeballs? Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but there's like. What berries are there? There's raspberries. There's. No, like there's berries in Pokemon, aren't yeah, there? Yeah, that's what I just said. Raspberries. Oh, there's ra. Yeah, R A. -Z -Z. Isn't there like weird berries in Pokemon? There's a. Uh, like berries in Pokemon. Orange berries. Yeah, yeah, like orange berries. Yeah, berries. exactly. Like those. Like those. Petra that's berries. the. You've never heard of the library? The what? The library. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> the... No, I have not heard about it. What does it look like? <laughs> um, it's just like a little book-shaped berry. It makes you more intelligent. It raises your Pokemon's intelligence. It's for like the Pokemon contest. It raises yeah. your smart set. <laughs> mm-hmm. Gotcha! I never knew. That's crazy. Yeah, well, there's some new, you know, Pokemon lore. Yeah, I, I can't believe you're teaching me about Pokemon lore right now. It really <laughs> teaches you. Alright, another day, another chance to continue onward with your work. You released a bit of a yawn as you got up from your seat, still observing the spikes from your experiment. The data was all there. It was all just a matter of making sure it was accurate. Cell expansion was true, and the growth was remarkable. While this was more or less an artificial way to make Pokemon who could Mega Evolve, this could also do some good with regular evolution. Gene splicing, basically. While you wanted to explore the idea, idea more, you were cut off by the need for more research. You got some more things packed up and decided to make your way down to the library to get some needed information. Was it easier to use the resources at the lab? Certainly more practical, yes, but you enjoyed walking down to the library and making you, uh, and using the resources there regardless. So you made your way the five blocks down the road and got to the local library around the outskirts of town. You smiled as you walked into the building and waved a hello to the librarians. They, they knew you well enough to not disturb you at all. Something you were far happier with than anything else. You walked down a few aisles and found your needed books and began to pull them. Some textbooks on gene splicing theories, old records of powerful Pokemon, and many more. Once you got around five to seven books you needed, or at least wanted to look at, you placed them down on a secluded table and got to reading. You had always done this back in your schooling days. It just felt more natural like this. To do everything alone and be in the safety of your books. As you were working, copying down important notes on a notepad, you felt someone was either looking at you from afar or was closing in on you. You wanted to clear your throat, deter them from you. Maybe you could have faked a sickness? No, that wouldn't work. Faking a sickness is very hard to do and even harder to pick up on. <laughs> I don't think it's that hard. <laughs> you just start coughing. I gotta do something like, like one of I gotta do is go like fucking like, <coughs> like just like yeah. it's not like you're dying. But I don't Start know why I would deter them. Start just like, like hagging. Yeah. Just on your just <coughs> You gotta get like that dry cough. Yeah. Although that could actually work out for your own benefit. You were about to fake cough until you heard a familiar voice as well. I knew I'd find you here, Cynthia said. You released a low groan, only loud enough that you could hear. 
Cynthia. Barbary not surprised. You turned your head back and saw her walking up to you. She was wearing that blue top she had bought the other day as she pa as she walked up to you. She stepped past you a little bit and pulled a chair out and sat down. With all due respect, it is a library. I shall keep my voice low. And you will slow down my work. Perhaps that is why I am here? Are you attempting to sabotage me? I would assume a champion, the best trainer and battler in the entire region, would love to see how these mega mega evolutions could impact, well, everything. I am attempting to get you to take a break. Did I not do that already with you and that shopping venture? Yes, but one break is not enough to help you become mentally well. If you continue to push yourself beyond your physical limits, it could lead to you to suffering both mentally and physically. Yeah, Bill Clinton, you're fucking mental right now. <laughs> yeah, suffer. I assure you, Lady Cynthia, I am perfectly mentally and physically well. I have eaten breakfast, I have been getting us appropriate seven to eight hours of sleep, and I have been getting out and about. Did you, a sycamore, get drinks after I left for home? You stayed silent as you looked at her go before going back to work. You could hear her lightly laugh to herself. You rolled your eyes before pushing a book up towards her and bringing out another one. Another one. Might I suggest a small battle? You would win. Try again. You wouldn't know that. I only have one Pokemon. The rest of my team has been either lost to time or was placed into a vault. Furthermore, <laughs> you are a champion and I am not. If you want me to take my mind off of things and get me to take a break, then I recommend you change ideas. You continue to write down a few more notes as Cynthia leaned back in her seat. She sighed a little before she looked out the window from the seat. You had chosen a sunny spot in the library, a way so that nature was close to you. Cynthia smiled a bit as she looked back at you. It is a lovely day out. Indeed it is. It would be a shame if someone was just stuck here inside all day. Reading is pleasurable enough as is. I see no reason for the concern to get outside of the library. There are plenty of paths out in the woods. I think that would that it would be lovely to go out there. You sighed and slammed your head down on the book. Dude, this guy's like just mad all yeah. the time. He's also, just like as a scientist, angry. isn't it better for him to go outside and research Pokemon in their environment? Since it's like evolution that he's focusing on. He's probably just like researching stuff right now. Yeah. Just like reading, trying to focus, but uh, this guy's like sighing at everything. This guy sighed like seven times. Dude, this guy has no friends. This is the kind of guy that like you'd fr be friends with and he's always complaining he doesn't have friends, and then you see why. You see why he has no fucking friends. <laughs> How are we supposed to go with Cynthia? Usually I'm used to it being the other way around in these fan fictions. In my personal experience of like, we're the constantly the one trying to get with the person that is like constantly like shutting us down or being like like kind of like a douche a little oh bit. my god right. this reminds me of have you watched meet the robinsons oh the movie? i did that shit is good there was like the one scene where i think like the villain was like walking into school he was oh, like oh, and everyone god. hates me it's like oh, michael how are you doing He's like, what's up, dude? And he just ignores them, walks past them. He's like, hey, Mandel, That's the cool main character. <laughs> yeah, cool you know, finder. My house later? They all hated <laughs> Everyone, me. Everyone, <laughs> they all hated me. <laughs> that's, that's Bill Clinton right now. Yeah. He watched that movie, he was like, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> he's still in his um, emo phase. I thought you were about to say he's still in his villain arc. <laughs> <laughs> um... You sighed and slammed your head down on the book. You released a small sigh. This guy, see? I, he just <laughs> sighed two times in a row. He, so he sighed and slammed his head down. Then he released a small sigh. Well, best excite I. This guy has senses. big lungs. He's sighing a lot. Yeah. He's constantly just like, Ugh, this <sighs> bitch. He, he talks in a sigh. <laughs> <laughs> you released a small sigh as you heard Cynthia giggle a little bit. 
You slowly moved your head up and looked at her with a, lit, a bit of an annoyed scowl. That was... He got angry in three sentences in a row. Yeah. That's the angriest sentence. Like, paragraph or bed. So I'm telling him to touch grass. <laughs> Basically, touch grass, man. <laughs> For the champion, a grown woman, and a member of law enforcement, you are quite the child and are quite annoying. And for a doctor, a grown man, and someone who wants to evolve the world, you can also be quite childish and self-centered. <laughs> oh my god. Size. Touché. <laughs> okay, how many sides are on this? I'll, I'll, I'll look it up after I read this. Yeah. He looked out the window with her and sighed a little. Oh my god! <laughs> Stop sighing! Can you do anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Please. Any synonyms. You glanced back to her and saw her giving you a light smile. You rubbed the bridge of your nose before closing the book with a bookmark in it. Alright, alright. Let me put these in my bag. I have a car. I can put them in there and I could give you a drive later. Before you had a chance to rebuttal her, Cynthia had grabbed two of the books and began to walk up to the front desk to check them out. You sighed a little bit- oh my. <laughs> he sighed a little bit before grabbing the four others and following her. As you both got the books checked out, Cynthia smiled a bit. <laughs> I feel like I've been reading Cynthia smiled and then Bill sighed, and I read that combo like 12 times. That's all you do. Cynthia smiles, Bill sighs. <laughs> Cynthia smiled a bit as she looked down to the cover of one. Evolutionary theories? You really are a workaholic. It is my job to unlock the mysteries of the universe. Do any pleasure reading? Or is that not considered optimal for your needs of work? I don't do much pleasure reading anymore. I have far too much work left to do. And science isn't going anywhere without you. That is debatable. Scientists are born every day. People who will continue on my work. I have a legacy to leave, so if we can get work done now, then we will be the ones to go down in history. Not just you damn battlers, but the scientists as well. No offense. Damn. This guy's like, actually just mad. I gotta say, Cynthia's taking this all well. She, she hasn't got pissed off at him once, and I feel like I would've slapped him across the face by now. <laughs> by Cynthia x reader, it's not like they're together, it's like Cynthia vs reader. They're fighting. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what this feels like. <laughs> Cynthia, none taken. I understand the desire to leave an important legacy, but there is very little need to push yourself to that limit and beyond. You are only 35, you have plenty of time left, and if you are getting closer to this breakthrough, then do not break through so much. Cynthia smiled at you as you got to her car and you guys placed the books in the back row. You looked at her and she gave you a smile. See, look, it's just Cynthia smiling and Bill sighing. She just smiled twice in a row. Uh, you gotta use some uh, different words there, author. Yeah, All right. Like they cool. start using like next chapter the like, Cynthia smirked. <laughs> smirk. It's gonna say smirk like seventeen times in the next chapter. Cynthia formed an upside down frown. <laughs> <laughs> so it must feel special having the press in love with you. I can feel that sarcasm. You and I both. I hate them. They are very annoying. Cynthia began to walk away as you followed her. After a couple of minutes, you guys arrived at a small path going through the woods. You looked at Cynthia, and she gave you a smile. See, look, I told you. What did I say? You weren't getting more- you're getting mad. <laughs> I am getting mad, because I'm reading the same thing. <laughs> but you know what? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Cynthia, ready? How long is this path? We can keep going for as long as we want. It is about 90 miles around, quite the walk. Yeah, you don't say. This could impact my... Please, just join me here. You sighed and followed her. <laughs> you had to admit, the day was lovely. The shade of the woods was nice and seeing all the bug-type Pokemon and grass-types roaming around. It was truly impressive. You released a sigh as you walked with her, just enjoying the ambient noise from nature. Cynthia smiled at you as she walked up to you. You looked at her, and she gave a wide smile. 
<laughs> he took your hand and began to walk down the path. <laughs> a blush covered your face as she looked forward. You took a deep breath and continued to move forward. <laughs> deep breath is the same thing as sigh. Prove no, me wrong. Cause, no, because sighing is like... Like you're exhaling. Oh, yeah, that's like exhaling. Obnoxiously. Hey, if he takes a deep breath, then he's preparing a sigh. Yeah. <laughs> that's like this... Solar Beam. You gotta prepare one move before. Yeah. This motherfucker's about to sigh! Get him! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know what to think of this. You didn't know what to even do here. You just held along with it as you held Cynthia's hand and walked down nature's path. Alright, now I'm looking up how many sides are in here. Sigh. Eight sides, okay. Yeah, Less how many top. smiles? <laughs> yeah, how many smiles? Nine. Almost even. Yay. Cynthia's winning. She smiled more than each side. The press problem. Ooh. Get this fucking ad out of here. I don't what the fuck? I, I don't want to talk about the ad I got. <laughs> what? Oh, they started, like, not only having the ad on the side, but they also have it, like, in the chapter. Like, in between, oh. like, the text sometimes. I got a weird one. Yeah. They're gonna start putting ads in between sentences and words now. Yeah. It was a calm Saturday morning. As you slowly open your eyes to the sun beaming down your face. You groan slightly, not wanting to get up, but knowing you had to, to in order to get to work and on time. Still, your body was sore from the workout with Cynthia two days ago. That walk, walk good, left your legs totally destroyed. It was a fucking walk, could we not walk? He's a scientist, he doesn't touch grass. Yeah. Bro, how- you sit at your desk all day, you don't move your legs at all? That, like, you taking, a, like, an enjoyable walk outside fucked you up like crazy? No, all he does is sigh and read. <laughs> Men born after two 1996 don't know how to walk. All they know is research, sleep, and be depressed. <laughs> it's an endless cycle. Hmm. Hell, it even hurt to stand a little. Still, you took a deep breath and did a few stretches to really get in the groove of things before you headed out to of your room and off to the shower. You did all your morning routine stuff, getting ready to go off to work. As you got out of the shower and got down to your kitchen to grab a quick piece of toast, you saw your phone receive a couple of text messages. You grabbed it and saw it was Carolina, informing you along with the rest of the staff in the building was close today due to cleaning. You rolled your eyes and said, Carolina, a private message. No, really, is it close? <laughs> it is, because something came up, and you better explain yourself by day's end. What do you mean? Read the papers! Did our experiment blow up? <laughs> oh, no. It's like, research lab caught on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that'd be funny as shit. Oh, God, I, what happened? I, I, there, I read the papers. There we go. You were confused at what she was talking about. A small thought that your experiments rose into a mighty creation able to destroy suns, and that it was a stretch even for you. No, this was something else. You walked over to the swamp countertop and saw some, and saw something on, of, wait, saw some of the paper. Team Galactic was stopped again. It kind of was a, on a slow decline. Same. <laughs> school and stuff. You scan through just about all the important news. You flip back to the terrible and unwanted tablet section. Your initial thoughts were that something passed something passed that in the sports section. However, you stopped once you saw the headline. Champion Cynthia found what secret boyfriend question mark? Oh. I don't know why. This is fucking brought back like some shitty article. It was like the news confirm. Does Bruno Mars is gay? <laughs> <laughs> what? You never heard of that? No. It was like an old ass ad that ran for a, like a while, and it was like, like, Mars confirms. Does Bruno Mars is gay? <laughs> I got a <laughs> feeling I can find it later. It's an old ass thing because it's so funny and written in bad English. That just sounds like an onion header. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna see if we can find it later. 
<laughs> but I can oh shit. Well, we're fucked. With the Cynthia thing, I guess. You caught almost vomiting at the sight. Some dumb, idiotic, narcissistic son of a bitch got the balls to make up some terrible tabloid crap about the walk with Cynthia two days ago and spit it into that YouTuber dating. Of course! A bloody corset one! Are we British? Oh my god, he just. <laughs> a bloody corset! Yeah, maybe he is. Give me a spot of tea! <laughs> bottle of water? A bottle, yeah. I thought I'd get a bottle of water. <laughs> and you're swallowed inside of you. <laughs> it's Tuesday, isn't it? Tuesday. <laughs> no, it's Tuesday. I'm trying to remember because um, one of the people from has been, they have a British accent because they're British and shit. I'm trying to remember how they pronounce words. They have a British accent because they're British? That's yeah. deep. <laughs> yeah. I have, I have an American accent because I'm American. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> and you're <laughs> swelled inside of you. You tore some of the paper in half. Pure malice in your eyes and face. You sent the paper down on your countertop again and ran your ass over to the phone and started dialing the paper's number. You were beyond furious. After a couple of seconds of ringing, you heard an answer. Hello, you've reached Sino Trans Tribunal Customer Service. Um, how am I helping you today? I'm calling about a complaint about your paper today. I'm terribly sorry, sir. Was the story misprinted? Yes, in fact, there are several story misprints. This super tabloid crap, a secret boyfriend? You call this newsworthy? Let alone something that needs to be printed? You gotta play your cards right here. One wrong word and the service rep wouldn't know that you personally involved in the story. And a wrong word would spell hell for you in your entire life. Unfortunately, sir, our editor-in-chief believed that the story was needed. Something would dump it to uplift moral, a uh, local moral. What the f- why does that matter? It is like the Bruno Mars is gay thing. They're like, they're like, oh my god, Cynthia is is dating? Question mark. Cynthia straight? Question mark. Yeah. And hear about a rich person dating another possible rich person is supposedly a a boost morale for common people. Excellent work. Your staff must be so proud. Uh, sir, I. <laughs> Whatever. Is is there any way you can remove the story for the print? Um, sir, it doesn't work like that. It's already out in the printed medium. Online, then? Can you pull the story from there? Sir, we're not just gonna pull a story due to complaints of a single civilian. While, you, while I can't understand your desire to not see the story, you, we are unable to pull... You hung up. <laughs> <laughs> You're still furious all over at this. How did this... Ugh! <laughs> you clenched your head as... Your forehead made a contact with your table. You were so annoyed at this crap. How and why did this have to happen? That stupid tabloid crap. And unless, unless this is all a ploy, those little monsters. <laughs> you quickly called Carolina. You were going to get to the bottom of this no matter what. Hello? What the hell did you do? Excuse me? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Did you set this up? Way to destroy me? Get out of my- get me out of my lab? Well, let me remind you, you old- <laughs> <laughs> If- if it isn't- if it wasn't for me, you and your lab would be- SHUT UP! Back it up! Is this about that tabloid crap? Damn right it is! What on earth did you- You don't think I took part in this? Cynthia and I are trying to figure that out! Let alone your- let alone your side of things! She was the one who found me in the library. She, like you, was demanding I take a break, so I gave in despite my better judgment, and now here we are. Are you happy now you had? Wow, we're getting fired. <laughs> Dang, it's using hag a lot. Yeah. Call me a hag again, and I'll make sure you never set foot in your lab ever again, you hear me? You groaned a little bit as you slid your hands around your face. The girl was enough to confirm for Carolina that you were serious in this matter. Good. Now listen. It's a bunch of tabloid crap. Did we all overreact? Yes. But is it a bad thing? Also yes. We just wanted you to keep your head, your head low in public. Were you, what were your plans for today anyway? My plan was to get to the lab and not leave until 10. 
But since you went out of your way to make sure I stay at home, I guess I have to just stay here and not worry about much else. God, keep it that way. Kind of work in the morning. By that point, not many people would care about this. I then paparazzi. But we'll worry about them in our own ways. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah, sure. Good, I'll see you tomorrow. Carolina hung up. Close your phone and set your head back down the table. You rubbed your eyes. A little a little as the frustration continued to get to you. Still, you cracked your neck and walked to your living room and popped Empoleon out and smiled at him. Well, buddy, I guess it's just us today. Empoleon clapped his arms together with a little bit of excitement. You chuckled a bit as you got another call. You looked at it and it was from Singapore. Yeah? So... You and Cynthia? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Somewhere else, Cynthia was inside her penthouse apart- Wow. I don't fucking penthouse. Pacing back and it's forth. Champion, she gets a penthouse. I wanna fucking- I wanna marry Cynthia. <laughs> it gets me a fucking penthouse, I wanna- Be a scientist that sighs all the time. Oh, I don't- I'm not smart enough to be a scientist, but I do sigh a lot, I can do that. Better practice your sighing. Yeah, just... <sighs> the main thought in her mind went to you in that damn article. She sighed and sat down at her own table and looked out the window. Beside her, her guard chomp stepped over and, s and softly pushed her head up against Cynthia's arm. Cynthia smiled a bit and softly pet her partner as she looked back at the window. Maybe I messed up big. Oh, of course I did. I just wanted to make sure he's all right. That's what I did. And now that stupid tabloid crap has screamed both, in, both me and him over. First it was the crap with the press following me everywhere, now this. Then he aside a little, as she- Oh, she did it now. <laughs> and placed her head <laughs> on the Garchomp's chest. Garchomp placed one of- Cynthia's sighing now, maybe it's like a- Reverse. Like a contagious disease. Yeah. Singamore's gonna start sighing. Carolina's gonna start sighing. It's gonna- everyone's got the sigh disease. Yep. It's sigh-cagious. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Anyway. <laughs> she looked up at the partner and smiled a bit as she stood up and walked over to her living room. She tapped her phone on the ground a few times before turning back and grabbing her phone. It's not time to mope around. Galactic is still out there, and it's our job to stop them. So, as Cynthia began to get updates on her sworn enemies, you were busy standing on your roof and watching Napoleon do battle against Blastoise. Despite... Despite... Wait. Besides you was Sigmore himself, having stopped by again for a visit to the lab and shifting focus to you once the lab is closed. So, what exactly is the game plan for all this? Just to let it be, I guess. I, had to, I still have work to do. It's not that. I mean, the game plan for you and her. Oh. It's not a game plan. We're acquaintances. Nothing more. Sure, sure. you are. And yet, sure, buddy. you are the ones holding hands. Hand in hand in forests while walking. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Yeah. Who does that? Yeah, that's weird. When the homies hold hands? That's, that's crazy. Oh, no, no. Homies can hold hands. I'm yeah. saying, when does a scientist and champion hold hands? Yeah, that, oh my god, that's a good point. Th those, those hold hands with my homies all the time. I hold my hands homies to sleep, so they have a better <laughs> sleep. I, I give them a kiss on the check, on like the little foreheads before bed. Yeah, it's fine. They're I wearing socks, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, just make sure the socks are on. Actually, double socks, double protection from the gay. <laughs> yeah. You sighed <sighs> and turned back to the battle. You were seeing that Napoleon was struggling a bit in the fight. I think some more practicing would do you some good. Paulie and I aren't much of battlers anyway. Bill Clinton, I wasn't talking about fighting. You looked at him in confusion as he gave you a trademark smirk. You had no idea what he was planning, but knowing Augustine, it was never a good thing. And that's it. Well, for now. 
What'd you think? <laughs> it was, uh... I think that's actually pretty well written in terms of, like, sentences making sense and grammar. Like, everything. There was, like, almost no mistakes in that. Yeah, I just can't read. That's my problem. <laughs> Oh, I think you read fine. Mm. You're, just not, you're just not used to, um, you know, like, uh, no, no, it's not that. It's just, it's just you're not used to uh, big words because you're so stupid. Fuck you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I already got to deal with that shit from camera when I'm doing, like, LPs. And I'm reading, like, the sense of a character. And he's like, you butchered every word in that sense. <laughs> It happens all the time. I cannot escape my destiny. Yeah, but uh, that was that wasn't bad. That was yeah. pretty uh, pretty decent. Yeah, this it wasn't nice. like it wasn't making me cringe or anything. Like oh, some bad takes were. It was. Like, it was just angry. like pretty realistic. Yeah. It was. No, I mean the sign was making me angry, but yeah, like everything else, <laughs> kind of fine. Yeah, it does seem kind of realistic because uh, Cynthia is um. Well, she's technically labeled as a celebrity in this universe because she she is like. The champion of her region, and this yeah. is just a scientist working at nine to five, which technically is like an eight to like ten p.m. Exactly. <laughs> yep. But uh, I, well, it's, it's time, man. We gotta spin the wheel. I'm, I'm radi you're radiating with excitement right now. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Alright, well these are, these are options that we got so far. We can add more BS eventually. What BS Agreed. would you want to add? Um... Okay, I already see Tangled on there, so you know what? There's Is there one. even a Tangled fanfiction? I have no idea, I, I haven't even picked No, I just pulled out of my ass. But I just picked it because like, it's popular, and if it's something's popular, there's probably fanfic of it. You would assume Like, so. there's a good chance. Right? I mean, you would think that for Hazen Hotel, but it still hasn't had a lot of fan fiction. Yo, I wonder if there's like a fanfic of like a coin. You know, like heads or tails. <laughs> they want to be X together X so bad. No, just heads x tails. You know, they want to be each other with, with each other, but you know, they can't. They're on other sides. Comment down below your crack ships and we'll read them. <laughs> it's an impossible love. It's like Romeo and Juliet, heads, yeah. exhales. And they just kill themselves at the end, like a true Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, I don't know how that worked though, but yeah, I'd be surprised if that exists. Yeah. Harvey, 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 Harvey. Kung Fu Pan. Damn it! Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Kung Fu Is there Kung Fu even a fucking Kung book? Some kids are fast as lightning. That does not answer the question. You better find a book. Oh, <laughs> or else we're reading a Harvey X reader. Oh, there's definitely one. There's no way. You sure? I'm sure there's one. Alright. At least. Results, come on. 30,000 results? Yeah. I need to sit in the corner and think about the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Why we're here. Just to oh, suffer. Oh, Oh, is now. Alright, well, I guess... Fuck, you're reading a Kung Fu Panda fucking... <laughs> uh... Kung Fu Panda fanfic? <laughs> you did this! You made me put it <laughs> on the wheel! What have I done? Yeah. What have you done? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, God. Well, I guess blame Minho for the next episode. It's not my fault Kung Fu Panda is a banger. This is not a banger. This is not a banger. And I know bangers. All right. Kung Fu Panda x Master Shifu. I, I hate myself. <laughs> 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 uh, it's probably, it probably exists. This is like the time that you pulled out the Spongebob x reader. <laughs> that was funny though. Was it? it was to me at the moment, but I'll probably cringe in like 10 years. Oh yeah, I'll hang it over your head and I'm like, hey Minna, you remember picking out this book? And I just link you the video. <laughs> oh god. I'll like sue you for copyright and just like 
say, um, you illegally held me against my will and made me record. Yeah, and, uh, yeah that's Can't crazy. use my voice on your videos. Womp womp. <laughs> Oh, let me play the world's sad, smallest violin. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that does it. Well, I guess I'm just gonna go back to sleep behind the target dumpster. Maybe we'll upgrade. We yeah. get behind the Forever 21 eventually. That's that's a downgrade. Yeah. It is. But at least it's guaranteed clothes. <laughs> Those clothes will already have holes in them, regardless if they put knives through them. Yeah. What, like the ripped jeans? <laughs> the shirts, too. They do? Oh, I haven't been there in a while. I feel like cause of, just because of the uh, fabric quality. Is it? I just know like it's dying, because uh, not a lot of people are going to stores anymore. It's all online. But I don't know how you get True. clothes online. I feel like you have to try on shit. Uh huh. I feel like shoes you can get away with because like shoes at least are a universal size for like men and women. But like clothes for women, you you gotta go in and try that shit on. Because I'm not gonna keep ordering shit, trying it on, realizing it's not fitting, and then fucking send it back and then try again. I'm not doing that. True. Alright, I went on a rant right there. Anyway, <laughs> check out the playlist. We have like 101 episodes now, so. Oh my That's, god. Yeah. It's so much fun. You get to be the first one after the 100th episode special. Doesn't that make you feel special? Damn. Yep. I'm special. Yeah, and then, well, Minho doesn't let me put any of his social medias, so I guess just comment down below if, if you want to see more Minho. I guess. <laughs> I Fair forgot no. how to advertise myself. <laughs> Alright, well, You'd be anyway. like a terrible advertiser. Buy this product if you want. I don't know. I don't yeah. give a fuck. Just buy it. You don't have to. Yeah, Alright, see ya. It does a thing, and then, like, and they just slam the door on my face. <laughs> <laughs> it does this thing. Yeah, I forgot. You know. Yeah, I forgot what it does, but it does do something useful. You should buy it. <laughs> But anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Minho, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Goodbye.